Okay, hi. Here's Pimp My OS and um, with a new background and uh, an, a couple of new things to show you. So one in my other video, I had promised you that I would uh, show you what was running in the background, the thing with the DirectX 9 that asked me something. Well, uh, I'm going to show you and I'm going to also show you something else in another video. I'm making two videos today consecutively. So yeah, uh, first thing with the DirectX thing. Um, that was Battlefield Bad Company. And uh, what I basically have done over the whole weekend is learned how to port. If you want um, more information on porting, all you gotta do is go on porting team. Yeah, for me it says it there, but I'll write it for your sake. Portingteam.com. There you go on there. And uh, this is a site where they port, basically, they just, for example, here, Unreal Tournament, they, 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 they port um, games, PC games, to Mac using Cider or CXEX and Wineskin. I use CXEX. So, um, here you go, and this, uh, it also tells you how to install and everything, installation, general installation, it tells you it's a Mac thing. And so I thought, wow, cool, I'd like to port too. So um, over the weekend, I learned how to port. And uh, here's my first project, Pivot Stick Figure Animator for Mac. You might know this for PC. If you don't, it's freeware, and uh, you can get it for PC too. And uh, it's my first port, and it's quite laggy. It, this is not ScreenFlow's fault. This is really laggy this way. But uh, it works, and this is pretty fast, though. You can create frames really fast, as you see, like this, and I don't know what... Uh, heads going around and then you can play the animations you can save them you can open new animations and it's it's kinda cool all you, all you gotta do is go back here and there's an animation I saved from before and uh, the whole saving thing works and everything so this is for example how stick man on crack was made so uh, or stick figures on crack or whatever it's called um yeah so that's pivot stick figure animator for Mac I might release that or something Here's another game, Battlefield 2, and that was ported too. Um, and right now I'm still working on Battlefield Bad Company for Mac. And um, tonight I think I'll start porting FIFA 2011. And um, uh, Black Ops, I still wanted to port. That was the other one. So um, that's that. And uh, that was that about porting. So I'll just quickly show you a tiny bit about porting. I can't show you all too much. You'll have to learn by yourself. Basically, um, sorry, my Safari is not working right now that well, so I'm just going to take this. Okay, so under this link, which I'll put in the description, you can learn how to port yourself. So um, it'll basically tell you, and uh, you have to read a tiny bit through it and understand really what porting means. I'm not going to go into any details, I'm just showing you a tiny bit how. Basically, you have this program installed called CXEX, there, you see it, the CXEX porter. Click on it, you open it, and uh, you select. Uh, you have to select the newest version, and um, you choose if it's a game or an application. For example, Pivot Stick Figure Animator was an application, and Battlefield Bad Company is a game. So let's just say I want to make an application. So you do OK, and then it creates the file right there for you. Right, right there, and it opens you right away to the package contents. And okay, and it does this. This is automatic. Next, you just choose um, the installer file of the thing that you're trying to install. So let's just say, um, let's see, I might have some Windows stuff on here. Um, no, maybe not that. Okay, let's just take that. I don't, I don't know what it is. I think it's Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. So um, it'll run. Yeah, Dungeons and Dragons Online. This is messed up, but that doesn't really matter. So y you just install it, and it look like a Windows thing, and it it installs. So it just does that. For now, this is not going to work because this is an application wrapper, and what I'm what I just uh, started installing is a game, so it's not going to work. But um, normally it works and it installs the whole thing, and then you have to um, basically you just have to whoa, wrong thing. Here you have to define uh, what the name is called, like uh, I called my Pivot Stick Figure Animator for Mac. 
where the file is located and then you have to go through here for example Internet Explorer for example and you can say this is intern Internet Explorer for Mac this is just an example type thing and then if you open this it'll show you this and this and then you got Internet Explorer okay and normally it should work. I don't know if it works really. I've never really tried it. Yes, it works. Okay, that's quite cool. So it's um, I don't know why you would want it, but um, there you go. That's how to get Internet Explorer, like Windowsy version, so it looks like Windows. And it's all using Wine and exploiting all kinds of other things inside of. So there you go. That's a quick overview. If you want to look again, just go on um, PortingTube.com. That's it. That's it for Pimp My OS today. And uh, I'll have a couple more videos. Next. Okay, bye.